Okay, next video log. I'm just here six weeks post operation. Um, I'm going in to see the surgeon tomorrow, get the x rays done. Um, I've been uh, feeling pretty good. The hip feels good. I can't do any, like, say, squats or anything like that, but I'm hoping to get some good results so that I can at least start maybe doing body weight squats or something like that for the right leg. My uh, right leg has gotten smaller. Um, it's noticeably smaller on the right uh, vastus lateralis, but other than that, I've been training the upper body, I've been training the left leg, so I'm not too worried. Once I can get back full swing, I'm sure it'll catch up. Uh, for today, I wanted to discuss sets, uh, reps, and rest. Uh, basically, I get asked all the time about how long you should rest between sets, how many sets you should do, the reps, should I do one rep, five reps, ten reps, twenty reps, everyone seems to be confused as to that. Um, first off, if you're trying to be a power lifter, then obviously you're going to do more uh, heavy weights and lower reps because that's going to build strength. If however you want to be a bodybuilder, then the reps are going to be higher, which is basically simple, everyone knows that. The thing that people don't often consider is that it's not how many reps you're actually doing, it's the time under tension of the muscle that's important. So if I do a set of five and it takes me 30 seconds to do it, someone else does a set of 10 and takes 30 seconds to do it, the muscles worked equally hard, it's been both 30 seconds. So that's going to produce the same kind of changes whether it was like say five reps or 10. So Studies have shown that around 40 seconds is a really good range of uh, time to do for growth. So if you're a bodybuilder, which most of the people I train are, some are, are powerlifters, but most of them are, they're, they're going to be looking for sets of around 40 seconds. Now, the rest time. Everyone seems to think that bodybuilders rest 30 seconds to a minute between sets. And I'm telling you right now that they don't know how to time, they don't know what a minute feels like because no one goes to the gym other than maybe a fitness person or somebody training for a Reebok, um, I don't know, fittest man competition or something. No one goes to the gym and does set a bench, rest a minute, another set of bench, minute, rest, bench, minute, rest. It's impossible. Uh, squats, you can imagine doing a heavy set of squats, say like 400 pounds for 10, resting a minute and trying it again. If you can do a 400 for 10 and rest a minute and do it again, then you're just not training hard enough. The most important thing when you're training is to train hard. So that means effort, max effort, pushing yourself to your limit. If you're doing that and you're resting a minute between sets, there's no way you can produce that same 10 reps with the same weight. So you need to rest long enough. And how long is that? Well, studies have shown about a six to one work to rest ratio. So if your set took you 30 seconds, and I suggest you go out and time it, then rest about three minutes. If the set took you a minute to do, then rest like six minutes. So that's pretty simple. Six to one work to rest ratio. You have to allow for your ATP to come back so that you have energy to produce another max effort. You want lactic acid removed. You don't want to go there half burnt and try to do another hard set. So that comes into now the volume. If you're pushing yourself to the limit, and I mean hard, and I always say to people, was the set hard? Like, did you go out? And they'll say yes. And I'll say, if I paid you $1,000 per rep, could you have done any more? And almost always it's, oh yeah, I could have done at least two or three more reps if I would have got $1,000. When I train, there's no way I could do more. If it's a max set on the bench and somebody said, I'll give you a million dollars to do one more rep, there's no way that rep could happen. So that's what you have to keep in mind when you're training. If you're training like that, you don't need a lot of volume. And if you're resting that six to one ratio, you're gonna be spending a long time in the gym just to do say legs, 10, 15 sets, that's gonna be an hour to an hour and a half workout. I mean, and I'm not counting the warm up sets here, but if you're doing 10 max type sets, like where you're pushing yourself to the limit, you're gonna to need to rest that five minutes between sets to have the energy to do it again. Um, especially if you're dieting and you have no energy, you just you need to get back so that you feel like you can do it again. So just go to the gym, time yourself, do a set of squats to your limit, like whatever your strength level you're at. It could be 225 for 10, 500 for 10, whatever it may be. If it took you 30 seconds to do the set, time yourself three minutes, see if you're ready to go, see if you feel 100% back. And if you're not, then you have to stop. 
Um, once you can't lift 90% of the weight that you're lifting, you need to either take a longer break or go home and train later in the day or just next time. Um, so if I'm benching 100 pounds for 10 and I can't do 90 pounds for 10, then it's time to it's time to quit and go to another exercise because that's that's it. That means your muscle has trained sufficiently. So go by that rule: 10% less strength. Uh, time to switch exercises. So if you're benching 500, then for say five, and you can't do 450 for five, that's it. You're done. It might take you two sets to get to that point. It might take you 10. So everyone's different. So keep that in mind. Um, different body parts, large body parts. They need more reps, more, I'm sorry, more sets, more volume, more work. Your back, there's a lot of muscles in the back. Biceps, two, triceps, three. We're thinking of um, back, there's you know dozens. So your back needs a lot more volume than biceps or calves. So think of it that way. The more muscle mass, the more sets it needs to be trained fully because you have different areas to train. So on something like biceps, triceps, calves, I might do eight sets max. That's the most I would do. But something like back, I'll get close to 20. And then your other body parts would fall somewhere in between. Um, beginners versus advanced. If you're a beginner, you don't want to train uh, as many sets because your body is not used to it. it. It needs time to get into it. It'd be like asking somebody who's first day out to run, training for a marathon, and then go for a 20-mile run. Well, you can't. You're not used to it. Same thing would be if you're a weightlifter. First time you go into the gym, you're not ready to do 10 sets of squats. That would just be brutal. Um, more advanced, you can handle more, so consider that. And I'll, one more uh, comment, um, then I'll let people go, um, is how often should you train? So, I'm a huge fan of more frequent training. A lot of people go by the Mondays, chest day, Tuesdays, back, you know, Wednesdays, whatever, arms. And so they train one body part a week. If you do that, you're training your body, um, each muscle, say, 52 times a year. That's one body part a week. If you do, say, every six days, you can train like 60 times. If you train a body part every five days, you're going to be into like 70 times. So I'd rather give my body 70 some odd opportunities to grow a year rather than 50. And also if you're only training say arms once a week, you have to completely annihilate your arms because you're only going to have, um, you're going to have a whole week to, before you do it again. Versus if you do it every four or five days, you don't have to do quite as much volume because you're hitting it more often and, and, and again. And remember, you're going to the gym, you're going to make a small micro tears in the muscle so that your body rebuilds it and makes it stronger. You don't want to completely wreck the muscle so that you're so sore you can't move for three days and then you try to do biceps again. So try, if you're, if you're not used to it, try changing your program from training one body part a week to maybe go to si every six days for a while, see how that goes, then go to five and go to four. I mean, I've done everything. I've gone from, I did my whole body three times a week to half my body one day, half the other day, day off, repeat. I've tried it the, the, all the way up to the one body part a week. But for me, I'm most successful on four and five days. So I have to split my body into every four or five days, depending. If you're a beginner, you might want to do it different. But for an advanced bodybuilder, I'd say that's pretty much ideal. I remember reading Ronnie Coleman used to train each body part twice a week. So that's, you know, that's really often. And it's hitting it every three and a half days, pretty much. Um, so I hope you liked some of this information I gave. It's just my opinion. I mean, I've done the research. I do have a master's degree and I do have race research a lot and I've been training for 27 years. So I do know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't like it, you know, maybe just give it a try and see if it might not be the best for you. If you've never tried it, try switching things up. Try some of the things I tried. Um, and if you would like a trainer, contact me on Facebook. I'm training um, plenty, of, plenty of people right now. It doesn't matter if it's powerlifting, bodybuilding, fitness, figure, model, bikini, everybody, beginner to advanced. Um, I've got 42 people I've trained since September. Um, looking to train more. It could be year-round or it could just be the, you know, the last couple months before a show or you just want to have a wedding and you want to get in shape. doesn't matter. I have the diet plans ready. I'll individually customize it for you. Training plans, same thing. Depends on your goals. I'll set it up for you exactly as you need. And I always adjust everything for everyone as it, it's needed. I'm 100% dedicated. It's what I do full time. So um, if you're looking for a trainer that's going to give you some good information, 
um, not just based on um, something I might have read once, something that I've been experimenting with for over 20 years. Like I said, I've been training 27 years. Um, contact me on Facebook or add my athlete page and just send me a message and we can get started. Till later, uh, good luck to everyone.